Hello everyone, Corey Tafoya, District Superintendent with another of our video messages for you. We've decided to change our format just a little bit and give you a monthly message in this video format to give you an idea of what's to come for the month of November. So let me share with you some good things coming up this month. Let's start with some good news from the high school about COVID testing and our outbreak status. We know that we had to go to daily symptom checking for all of our students due to our outbreak status. Well, the good news is that has really had a positive effect on our, our school. We no longer are in outbreak status and starting this Friday, November 5th, we'll no longer require our students to do the daily symptom checking uh, that we've been doing for the last three or four weeks or so. It's because we have lower transmission rates and things are going so well and we aren't seeing positive cases in the building potentially infecting other students that we are able to get off this outbreak stat status. So even though we're no longer requiring you to do the daily symptom check, Please do monitor that so we aren't having symptomatic students come to school and risk other people being infected. And if you've driven by the high school recently, speaking of the high school, you'll notice the huge crane there and all the activity by our locker room project in the back of the school. All those areas surrounding the competition gym are being affected. Some of them are almost done already, but we expect everything to be done in mid-February. But we have a sneak preview coming for you in mid-November that will give you a, a progress update and give you a sneak peek inside all the facility improvements being done. It's really an exciting project and this video will really give you some inside looks at all the improvements and all the things that are going to be ready for our athletes and our students come February. One of our favorite district partners is Bernie's Books and you probably noticed if your student is in pre-K through sixth grade that the books arrived this week and if for any reason you didn't have a chance to get your books please see your principal and we can certainly get you with those books. We really appreciate Bernie's generosity and them providing books for years for all of our students going through generations and providing them lots of good bedtime stories. So as the weather is turning cooler, superintendents like me start to think about preparation for snow days and winter weather that's coming, having our sidewalks ready, our buses ready, all those things. But also remember that in the past, we've had traditional snow days where there's no school. Well, we learned during the pandemic, we can have school remotely just fine. So I wanna let you know that in upcoming days, there'll be information provided to all of our families explaining how all of our emergency weather days will work. We're anticipating having school from home. You'll be able to have class, connect with the teacher, just like we did in the middle of the pandemic and have class remotely. All grade levels will handle that a little bit differently. So we'll have details for you by grade level and how your student will handle that. But please anticipate that if we have an emergency day for weather, we will have class, but it'll just be in a different format where you'll be learning remotely. And finally, let me share one more of our BHAGs, our big, hairy, audacious goals with you. One of those goals is for us for, to be a model PLC district. PLC stands for Professional Learning Community. A lot of schools claim to be PLCs and a lot of schools aspire to have this, but it's our goal to be one of the best in the nation. In a PLC, people share. It's a professional learning community. So the idea is there are intentional times for teachers to sit and meet without responsibility for other things to really look at learning. How are students doing? How did you teach that? How did I teach that? How did your students learn that faster than mine did? And share those best practices that will help our students most. So in a professional learning community, we're going to take as much time as we can and collaborate on what's the best curriculum, what's the best way we can teach things. Because we know when we share those best ideas, it's going to help our students most. And so that's why we're so committed. You could really argue that that's our most important um, BHAG in making sure our students have every access to the best form of teaching and the best form of learning possible. Because that's really what we're here for, to have our students excel as much as possible.